Welcome biologists. In this session, we're going to take a look at the differences between describe and explain questions. So to help with this, I'm going to use an image of an elephant. Um, and I'd like you to just pause the video and have a think about how would you describe this and how would you explain this image? Um, so we're going to pause it and have a go. But here we are. This is what you should be thinking about. So if I was describing this, you ex you're just basically saying what you can see in front of you, what it looks like. So you would say, for example, it's a mammal with four legs, uh, large ears, um, tusk, um, and a trunk. You might say it's got four legs. It, you might want to say it's got a hot, it's a hot day. It appears to be living in desert conditions and throwing some dust on its back. And it's got grey, uh, wrinkly skin as well. Um, so you might say something along those lines. However, if you I was explaining this image, you might say, oh, you need to give reasons why. So you might say, oh, it's putting dust on its back to act as a bit of a sunblock to stop its skin from being exposed to such um, hot rays from the sun. You might want to say it's got large ears so that the blood can, can flow through to, to lose heat from the blood. Um, you might want to say it's got tusks to um, allow it to get vegetation and push through vegetation, for example. So those are all the reasons why. So if we then apply that to biology questions, um, you need to do these points. Now, these are a little bit more common with things like graphs and tables. Um, so if I was going to do a descriptive um, answer on a graph or a table, you need to give at least two points on the graph or the table, including units. You need to talk about the initial rate, where's the maximum rate, and compare before and after the peak if there is one. If you're explaining, you're giving reasons why the rate is what it is on the on the graph. So why is the rate increasing, or why is it decreasing, or why is the rate staying the same? If there is a peak, why is there a peak, and where is it? Um, so let's get started. So here's my descriptive question here. If you want to pause it and have a go. So I'm describing the data as shown here. So don't forget, you're describing using where is the peak. Um, what, what's the initial rate like? What's the decrease like? Uh, where is the rate faster? Where is it slower? And you've got to use, this is really crucial, you've got to use data from your graph. You have to lose it, use at least two points. So for example, I might say at 10 degrees, really important, you use the units as well. At 10 degrees, my rate is one centimeter cubed per second. Whereas at 40 degrees centigrade, my rate of oxygen production is at eight centimeter cubed per meter per second. So you've got to give at least two points and compare those points. All right. So uh, saying that this is higher than uh, the, the beginning, for example. So um, here's the mark scheme for this one. But you can see here what I'm trying to get you to talk about. Um, this is the comparative figures that I'm talking about here. You've got two temperatures with two rates with units. You've always got to give at least two. You've always got to give units. And this is always on the mark scheme. You have to do this one to get a mark but you can see here there is a similar pattern as to what I was explaining before as well so that's a descriptive uh, explain it a descriptive question if I move on now to an explanation question um, so here I'm explaining giving reasons why if you start to describe here you're just absolutely wasting your time you're just going to throw marks away because it's just not needed so we're going to be explaining giving reasons why why have I got a steep bit here? Why does it peak here? Why do I then get a steady decrease back down to zero? So giving reasons why you want to pause the video and have a go. But here is the mark scheme um, with those points in. So as you can see here, it doesn't really talk much about a peak. It doesn't really talk much about any points on the graph. You're just really giving reasons why here. Um, so just a recap, that's um, what you should be including within your answers if you're asked to describe or explain, in particularly from a graph or a table. Uh, but guys, that's everything you need to know and describe and explain questions. Guys, good luck with your exams and all of that.